So I'm, I'm talking about um, artist, artist books, but mainly I will uh, tell you about my uh, work uh, with um, publications. And um, probably I should say a few words on my person. So I'm, I'm teaching drawing here at the academy. It's the second year, and um, my, mm, my work with drawings mainly results in, in books. So there's a first connection between the, the issue of artistic publications and um, drawing. And um, when, I, when we talked about that issue in, in the class, I realized that there might be um, some points to to make clear in the beginning because oh okay because um, okay excuse me who findet man this in a monitor six hundred mal eight hundred. Jetzt möchte ich diesen Präsentationsmodus finden. Ach, da unten kann ich. Entschuldige, jetzt weiß ich. War zu langsam. So, excuse me. Um, I realized talking about artist books that um, that there might be. Um, I should talk about something which is probably obvious to to many of you, but not to everybody. I, I would show you three. These three oops, things. So these are all um, books, you would say, but only one of those is an artist book. This one. And this one is a catalog on Rosa Marie Tocke, on a uh, living artist. And this one is a book publication on a dead artist, Lucio Fontana. So in these three things, in in the understanding, if you talk about publications in the, in the field of arts, are something completely different. Like if you talk about trees and apples and anything, and it's often mixed. So an, an artist book is, I would say, if you would compare it, something like a painting. And this a book on a living artist is something like an advertisement. It's like a, if you want to sell something, you print something, and that's this and uh, a book on a dead artist is some is a scientific work. So very different aspects in the beginning. So probably this is obvious to many of you or most of you, but I think in the understanding to, to just start with that from that it might be important. Um, 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 now I, I will. Before I show you some of my work, I, um, I will just uh, find a little words to describe how I came to, the, uh, to work with arti uh, uh, artistic publications. Um, I studied drawing and, and uh, painting uh, in the beginning and um, at some time realized that this might not be the, the medium I would like to work in. And, um, then I, uh, I realized that I, uh, I remembered some techniques I knew from a fir uh, former study from design, from graphic design, as I worked with layout and printed matter and copies and, um, and uh, became interested in this uh, material to work with because, not because, um, no, let's say because I, I thought that it had a a very um, down-to-earth, everyday quality. So you would find books on any issue uh, and uh, you could talk on any issue in a book without having this, oh, this is an artwork um, 
aspect in it from the beginning. Um, so that it, it, the German uh, word Künstlerbuch has a, a certain, for me when I started with it, has a had a certain very specific, uh, um, you say, um, taste or uh, uh, side. Uh, um, there came a, a certain, um, let me say, neben nebengeräusch or. <laughs> So uh, an artistic book was something, an Künstlerbuch, that was made with materials, that was made like with, with wood and cloth, and you brought very crea creative uh, uh, things together to do something that looked like a book, but was m more probably something like a collage or a, a material artwork. And for me, uh, um, this was completely, uh, un uh, so the opposite I was interested in, so I, I liked the quality in, in, in the book that uh, offered um, so it opened up doors in different um, um, fields yeah so probably it's it's better <laughs> than to, uh, to talk to, to abstract about my work to uh, talk about specific work this was um, this is a book uh, called Greater Los Angeles. You later can uh, come and see all those uh, work here, um, which was done with a colleague in, in 1995, uh, 1996, during a stay in Los Angeles, a one-year stay. And um, it, it had a very conceptual background because it, it consists of um, Oh. No, one. Sorry. It, well, it needs some time. It consists of 80 chapters, each of them done during a one-day trip. So we decided where to go, or decided just to cruise around the city and uh, do interviews or do um, small report reports on, on on specific places, and uh, came back. Uh, to, uh, to the place we stayed at the uh, coast and went to a copy shop and did one chapter of this book in the evening, during, during the evening. And um, finally there were about 150 chapters and we chose 80 of those to, uh, to, to bring them together in this book. Um, you, you would, later we learned that, that this kind of working thing was when we started, for us it was a sort of more conceptual um, approach that, that you would, could describe it with artistic research or um, those kind of, um, um, yeah, in, in, to, to bring it, define it as part of the, this kind of field. There, after this work, there, we did several followers, one in Eastern Germany uh, for the Werkleitsbiennale in uh, Sachsen-Anhalt, we did a small book, so on, on two villages, and um, it's, it's something like an oral history uh, told by the, the citizens of those small villages. They told us the history of um, the last 70 years, uh, which just interested us coming from the west of Germany, going to the east and uh, trying to understand what <laughs> what those people were interested in, or how, how, they, how they lived in, and how they told their own story. This was one book, and this was another oral history on artistic spaces, on art, artistic collaborative artwork in Frankfurt, because we also worked in Frankfurt in this way. Um, as you can see, many of you would say, ah, this is very close to um, probably um, journalistic or uh, um, approach. It is, uh, we were surprised by that too when we came back with this book from Los Angeles. We thought, ah, we have done a very clear conceptual artwork. This might be understandable. You could read that in the context of probably Etra Shea's uh, photography series or um, or the artwork of Hans Hake on, uh, on uh, real estate um, in, in New York. 
And then we were quite surprised that, that um, some said, oh, we, we don't see this in so precisely in the art context. And uh, um, then architects became interested in this kind of artwork or people from the, uh, from the cultural studies field like visual uh, culture anthropologen, which t told us, oh, that's visual cultural anthropology. And as I told it uh, lately in, uh, at, at the Künstlerhaus, um, finally this book was sold as an alternative city guide <laughs> when our, we, we, we had an um, uh, argument with our publisher about the, the, what to do with the rest, uh, with, with the, um, with, uh, the non-sold final prints. Um, yeah. So for us, for me, the background was just uh, coming from from realistic. Let's say this is a very uh, wide field, like from uh, realistic painting from the twenties and from act up political art from the eighties. Uh, this was back a background for this work. So it, for us, it was a possibility to describe. Um, reality in a certain way. And these uh, uh, photographs, texts, this combination of photograph and text was just a way to, to do it in a, in a way that didn't look so much like, and didn't smell like oil paint, and was not so precisely uh, you couldn't so precisely categorize it in the field of arts as we worked before at that moment. Um, so you see the, there were several issues of that magazine we produced, and we did this in a group of four. And finally, if you, if you work with printed matter, I, I prefer this, uh, or with artistic, with publications, I prefer this um, term to uh, Künstlerbücher or artist books. Um, you, you have the question, you have to do a lot of work uh, and have very small material, and uh, curators would ask you, yeah, where to do it, where to put it, it's, uh, beside the, 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 uh, the book table, yeah? And um, so, but we, we, we worked on that parallel, so the, I show you one example. This is in New York, at Apex Art New York. This is an um, art place in Soho. And there we, we put those magazines on the wall. We did a special magazine for the place and uh, had a table with, um, with a material from, uh, from the from the articles in the middle, and you could send those uh, issues to the world for free. So this was one aspect how to, to work with this very compressed medium of a book and, and the, the large uh, um, situation of, a, um, of an exhibition space. This is another work which is more uh, artist, uh, a book which is more um, based on a collection, a collection of esoteric flyers. <clears throat> I just show it very briefly and show you how this was put up in an installation at uh, Forum Stadtpark in Graz. So we collected those, and I still do, those esoteric flyers you find in the streets or special stores. And I was interested in the idea of self-portrait of these people who always show pictures of the, themselves and have these explanations how they would cure you, themselves, the whole world. And I was interested in this field which was, is very close to art because you also, you hear like in the art world have have the idea to, to give a de definition of how the world works, and uh, visually or culturally or ethically. And so this idea was more to, to show it like um, a collection of butterflies, because I also like the, the colors and 
the strange texts and, and this you can you should read it in detail. And then uh, back to to the uh, issue of drawing. I always did drawings also during those earlier artwork which were quite more conceptual, but they also they all, always stayed in in the sketchbook like most of you would also use and uh, since um, the mid 90s then I started to to uh, to bring them back into books and there's a series now of three books which uh, the last one was published last year they're all original sized um, reprints of the um, um, of, of the original drawings. So this is this one, and there's another one that looks like that, and the third one I've forgotten. <laughs> and yeah, there was also the question how to show them. This, was, this is uh, one possibility to show, to bring the book back into a exhibition format, and this was at the uh, uh, in the store of my publisher, Walter Königs, in, in Cologne. He just uh, um, asked me to, to do this in, in the window shop, and I, I thought this is a very um, 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 It fits very well, the, the idea of a book, and to do it in the, in the window shop of the publisher, and, and people just drop by and see it. So I like those. That's not in an exhibition space. I'm sorry, this is a very bad quality of photography. Yeah, this was the second book I showed to you. And there, um, there's, um, there's already a um, concentration, um, let's say, focus on, on the issue of portrait which, um, which uh, turns in the last book to the issue of uh, lecture, of the lecture situation where people stand in front of other people or sit like I do and lecture, and, but I'll tell you more about that soon. And this is the, the book I'm working on at the moment. This is, a, um, this is in a scientific book, so it's uh, about exhibition making and uh, you might be asking what, why this book in this context, but I think the, the approach is, um, I do it as a, a scientific work, but on the other hand, I always said I do a book. I'm always interested in the format of a book, so from the beginning I started to work uh, differently like a scientist would do, and I, um, I did dozens of those um, layouts uh, test layout um, versions, and uh, and scientists would m probably work the whole time in a in a computer, and finally uh, give it to a layouter, and finally uh, give it to a printer. And different is to to work with material from the beginning. This was very important to me. So there came another connection to drawing soon when, when it came to the publication of that book because, which I did not know, that it's very important to uh, work with copyrights. So if you want to, uh, to use a photography from uh, historical photography, you have to ask the owner, the fo either the photographer or probably it's uh, um, someone who, who cares for the estate and they tell you, okay, it's, we make it very cheap, it's, it's 80 euros if you, if you, if you want to take our photographs. And I said, oh fine, um, I have just 350 photos in this book. Um, so I'm very glad that I did most of them myself, but there's still uh, um, uh, a lot of them uh, which I uh, could not pay for, so I um, thought to to bring them out of the book, but then I, had, uh, I got the idea just to do a drawing of each of those phot photographs, like you see here, and um, so I get the owner of the co uh, I become the owner of the copyright myself. Um, so here you see this drawing in the context of the layout, and finally 
And I realized that sometimes if you, if you compare it to the t photograph beneath, which is a photograph, there it's, it's very uh, extremely a difference between the black and the white. And up there it was nearly the same like that. You can explain more probably in a drawing than you do in the photograph. So it, I realized that it's not only bad to do that, but it's also very interesting to, to understand more about the installation and, and what happened there. So an, another book which resulted then from, also from this work on, on exhibition making and on this work in, in, in scientific methods was uh, this one, because I wasn't used, no, differently. I, I, I had to, to, uh, to go to a lot of lectures to, uh, to, uh, to understand and learn about art historical, design historical issues. I went to conferences, I went to uh, um, conferences and lectures about Zeitgeschichte on, on, um, on the um, issue of concentration camps to understand what, what, what is the content, what is designed here. And then because I often got bored, I, I started to draw dur during those conferences and then I, I found out this is, might be a method, not this one, <laughs> an interesting method to, to get to another idea how to, 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 ha to get to portraits. Yeah. So many, this is uh, the typical ones. And there's, the last book is a, just a col collection of about 180 of those um, lecture drawings, which are only in parts connected to, to the issue of, of exhibition making. Some are just um, from the art world and very different, so it's expanded from uh, um, during just show uh, a couple of those. So and then most, or mm, many of the, those, not, not all of them are done live, and some are done due on the net because they are also uh, um, important and interesting uh, lectures you can see in the net. So you have to come very close to read those. And they're all, all A4, it's an A4 format. So in, here you can see how I, I work with those in an uh, exhibition situation then. I, I just go to a copy shop and do a digital print, which, um, uh, which it's very easy, I like this, um, this uh, just, put it on, on a stick and, and do one for three euros. So that's a very immaterial, very um, easy situation to, to transform this condensed information, visual information to a, to a larger information. And here you see an example where I just do them in, in the original size. I put them, just I copy them and glue them to the, to the wall if it's a more complex story. This is in a gallery in Munich, and this is a um, present uh, uh, exhibition situation at the Staatsgalerie in Stuttgart. So you see which, how, a, how it looks in a, in a larger space when it goes up five, six meters. It's only a snapshot, and the original is just shown in this, uh, uh, case. Yeah, so finally I, because uh, it was more announced that as, as a um, lecture on artist books, but because I'm not an art historian for, and a specialist for artist books, I just brought a couple uh, of artist books to, um, which I find interesting or at the moment, which interest me at the moment, and I, I brought them here to, to give you a, a chance to look at them directly. I 
I always like the, the photographic work of Ed van der Elsten, which you might show. Um, and this is a drawing book by Richard Prince, which he dedicated to Martin Kippenberger, which I like very much. And this is a photographic book on Graz by Hans-Peter Feldmann. And they are all snapshot, snapshots with the handy. This is a uh, conceptual um, graphic novel. So it's a conceptual artwork and the arti artist asked a professional uh, person to do this graphic novel for them. And this is finally a, a, a huge book on, on by Franz Erhard Walter on his, um, on his own, um, how do you say, artistic development through the years, what, what he experienced, how he became an artist until the, uh, on, a, on, a, on two decades or three decades. Okay, and this is just, um, but mainly I do not look at artist books to learn from them or I'm not so interested just from, as many artists do, they look at different stuff so I collect um, just things I find in the in the Kruschkiste, how you say, in the <laughs> in the in the cheap book box at, at some bookstores, and I I'm fascinated by those um, um, wonderful graphic invention uh, or ideas you can find there. So this is just one example of those. But I'm I hope I'm now I think I'm through with what I wanted to tell and would like to um, just give you a chance to ask because probably <laughs> many things might be, or there might be something you could not understand because I just ran through and uh, um, let's see what I've, okay, now this is enough. Very fast, huh? How do you connect the handwritten text um, which you presented with your drawings? Are they connected together? Or yeah, they are just during the lectures I, I write them down. Okay. And it's just your personal notes of the lecture and then you yeah. create some drawings which might be related to lecture or might be something completely different. Yeah, they, they started directly as a kind of, uh, as you would make no, uh, an, a note, just to, to remind this, uh, this idea, because it was really a lecture I went to because I wanted to understand about the issue. And then mainly you realize either it's boring after five minutes and then you have a lot of time to draw or, <laughs> or you need a lot of text because the material is it's really interesting. You need, you need the quotes. So it's, it's different, yeah, how you um, uh, approach those um, drawings from, from one to another. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, it, concerning the drawing books, there are no original books. So they are just, I, I just come there with a sheet of paper and, and I start do the drawing. And then I, I put them to all the other drawings I, I've done. And there's, a, there's this, a pile of drawings which grows over through a year. And I also draw, go on drawing on, I just always look through them and put another one out and go on to draw. So it's not only the life situation, but also the situation where I sit at home and go on and work on that, yeah, and make it different, change it and so So you say, basically, if I got you well, that there is not one original which is fixed mm -hmm. and then 
the whole process of um, developing and elaborating on the basis of, uh, of previous drawings? Or? Yeah, there's an original, but I, I found out um, I showed the originals, and I, I thought they're more they're too much like candies. If you show originals and put them in frames or not, or, or just on the glass at the wall, it's like, oh, wonderful, what a w wonderful uh, technique, or blah, 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 or uh, uh, artistry. And th that's something I was not interested in. I just thought the book is the idea, so you can look through it. And the original is something I keep in the, uh, in the store, uh, a storage. I keep it stored. And uh, yeah, the situation where it's in the vitrine in Stuttgart, it's a very special situation because they, it's an um, idea where they want to um, expand their collection and they show they would like to buy that for the collection and it's not too, they would not be on show any, any longer. So they only buy the, the originals and the right to, to perform, for, uh, uh, to, to do this, um, digital prints, yeah, and show them in the whole space. But they want to show to the people who they, they, they find sponsors that there is some original material. That's the idea. Okay. <laughs> I hope it was not too abstract. <laughs> uh, do you mean also drawings uh, for art sake? Where the original is important, is an art piece of that? Or you only draw for books? Yeah, this is for art sake, so I'm, um, I don't see any difference. So this is... Um, well, the way you explained it, it sounded like a difference, because the original is not the, it's something you keep, but... The, the yeah, yeah. But it's only the approach, I think. Um, so I, I'm, I don't do it to make sure that it's in a frame and it's on a wall in this way. But it's, it's not so different from, from, a, uh, from other artists' approaches to do so. So um, I think. Um, no, because you said that you do it this way because you know it is for a book. Yeah. So the objective is not the exhibition, it is the book. Uh, yeah, but that, then as I showed that. It, it goes to the book, but then it comes out from the book again. And uh, um, I was always, I liked always the idea of, uh, it's a historical idea of the, uh, of the painters who went around and uh, went from town to town, um, especially there's a history in Moldavia. The painters went, went from church to church and they had their sketchbooks with the, um, with the ideas what they would like to paint. They were drawings and they went there and and put their sketchbooks with, the, the uh, with this co very complex idea. This, they, they, they learned from other churches they just copied or people they talked about. And then they went there and brought it up the wall. Yeah. But they took their books with them and then they, they went away again. And I like this idea very much. So it's a, it's a, in, it's a concentration and it's, a expan how you say? it's an expansion again. I, I also would say, like, um, it, it's very small, a book, but it's also extreme, extremely huge, yeah, the possibility of the book. It's because you, um, yeah, can put everything in, and it's, it's an, it, the space it, it opens up is ex, ex, extremely large. <laughs> Yeah, we, you could also, we could also change and you come and have a look at those books and we discuss here, go on. It may, might be uh, easier because, yeah. Yeah. Um, over a thousand. But there I, I only choose those where the people um, show their portraits as a because I thought it, it's, it's very uh, interesting to see the, peop the people directly and how, what, what their idea is of how a lucky person looks like. 
and and what the what the words are also which are written uh, the combination of the words and the person it's in a way it's a live caricature from a certain point of view from a certain point of view from another it's very serious and i i thought this is very it's quite interesting It's neutral, so I, I don't, it's, yeah, sure, if you, we could test it. <laughs> it's all, it's the same copyright thing, and if, in the end I had, I have to make drawing copies, copies of those again. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if, if for example, uh, Stoyli asks all people in the streets, I don't know. Beat Stoyli, you know, the photographer with the persons he takes, the pictures he takes in the street. I don't know if he goes there and asks them. It's, it's, a, it's a situation which is not easy, I, I see. Yeah. But I don't, I think it's not offending someone if you have a, a, an, an artistic publication with the 500 an issue, uh, um, how you say, Auflage, 300 pieces, it's, they would never see it, I think so. Yeah, I stay here. Yeah.